My name is Jimmy Thomas, and I will be presenting infor information on the Great Barrier Reef region of Australia. The Great Barrier Reef is an extremely ancient nature's creation, reaching millions and millions of years back. It contains of thousands of species of animal life, both above and below the sea. Living coral have put themselves on dead coral, which have resulted into great walls of reefs where algae, anemones, sponges, fish, worms, starfish, turtles, mollusks, cr crustaceans, and plants live. The discovery of the Great Barrier Reef was one. James Cook and his team sailed the whole length of the reef from May to August 1770. The ship got stuck on the reef and they were forced to repair their ship for six weeks that they were able to observe and learn about the Great Barrier Reef. Since the Great Barrier Reef is underwater between 10 and 100 feet off the coast of Australia, I will be giving information on the state where the Great Barrier Reef is located, Queensland. Queensland's area is 1,852,642 square kilometers, which is almost three times the size of Texas. Queensland's population is 4,750,500, which is equal to the populations of Houston, San Antonio, and Austin combined. Queensland's main language is English, which is 76% of the population speaks. A small part of population speak one of the three dialects of Australia Aboriginal languages and uh, other languages like Chinese, Italian, Abarak, and Greek are also spoken. The Democrats of Queensland are 90% are European descent, 8% are Asian descent, 2% are indigenous which is another name for the Australian Aborigines. The highest elevation is 1,622 meters on top of Mark Bowderfair. The average temperatures were 67 Fahrenheit on average, but that moderate number is very misleading because the summer months have 121 Fahrenheit record high, but the winter months have a... 12.9 Fahrenheit record low. Religion 57% of the population believe in some form of Christianity. 22% are non religious. Culture Queensland has a reputation as being the most conservative of the six states. It is sometimes called deep conservity, north <coughs> as a refuge to the deep south, or sometimes now. Residents have been trying to speed, split into two states, Queensland and Capricornia. Queensland is also called the Sunshine, sunshine State. This has led to Queensland's outdoor culture, which has been big in shaping the habit and advanced lifestyle of the locals. Queensland sp sp spends so much time of their time outside, enjoying the warm weather and sunny days. They take lots of beach trips and go to the Great Barrier Reef and love of weekend sports or ho hosting barbecues for lunch or dinner. The vibe is laid back and the area is full of plenty of ways to stay active. Sports play a huge role in the life for local residents. It is common to see people cheer for Ruby League in the winter and cricket in the summer. Queensland has a public school for children in kindergarten through 12th grade. However, kindergarten is called prep year and first through sixth grade is called primary school. Seventh through 12th grade is called secondary school and homeschool meeting is available and proper for those living far away from school. All Australian children must go to school until the 12th grade. The government in Australia is constitutional monarchy that is when there is a queen, king or queen. They rule in accordance with a constitution. This limits how powerful a ruler is. The current ruler of Australia is Queen Elizabeth of Great Britain. She has been Queen of Australia since 1952. 
she, since she is very busy, she appoints a governor general role on her behalf. The current governor general is General Sir Peter Castro. The state of Queensland has a governor, just like the United States has. Queensland's governor is named Paul D. Jersey. Each government is the head of the ex executive council of each state. Queensland has been a self-governing state since 1859 when it was separated from the colony of New South Wales. The main exports from Queensland are coal and sugar. As a extra fun fact, tourism to the Great Barrier Reef generates about 45 billion Australian dollars a year. I hope you have learned about the Great Barrier Reef and Queensland. Goodbye.